Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Guys, before I begin, I'm not giving you any medical advice, I'm not making any medical claims, and everything that the speaker is saying in this video are the opinions of the speaker and uh, should not be considered as claims for or against any product or products. And with that being said, guys, I'm doing this video literally by just popular demand. So many people want to know the differences between a Kangen and the Hydrofix and basically the information because I know this super well. I mean, I used to have a Kangen, I mean, I clearly have it right here. And it just sits in a box and I don't use it anymore, but let's just go ahead and go into the differences because these machines literally couldn't be more different, guys. They're extremely different. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm just going to go back and forth and tell you the different things about both machines and verses and whatnot. This one directly ionizes the water. So the Kangen machines are directly electrolyzing water. In my opinion, that's definitely the wrong way to make hydrogen. It most likely makes it more susceptible to leaching metals, in my opinion, based on just the way the science works on this. This does not. I mean, it was literally specifically designed. It has water going through another chamber that you don't drink, and then it has the water that goes into the pitcher so that it is not actually ionized, and that's actually better. Here's the second part. Saturation of hydrogen. How much hydrogen are they making? Well, first of all, the Hydrofix fully saturates the water, but it takes time. See, the Kangen puts the water out immediately, and it's definitely not fully saturated with hydrogen, in my opinion, because, and basically anything that puts out hydrogen water immediately, again, in my opinion, is most likely not going to be making it properly. The, I've noticed that the best way to make hydrogen water takes time. This takes literally half an hour to fully saturate 1.5 liters. You could do half a liter in 10 minutes, but again, it, it just takes time. And that's a huge difference. The metal plates that they're using on these, they use a bunch of metal plates, nothing particularly fancy. Uh, the Hydrofix has patented technology. They went literally to great lengths. There's only one company in the world that can even make the metal and it's extremely complex uh, patented process. Very, very difficult. And they do it for many reasons. I mean, this is the ultimate in hydrogen technology. These really aren't, I mean, this is not a true hydrogen generator and I'll, I'll get into that in a second. This one makes alkaline water. Obviously that was the whole premise behind the king and oh, it makes alkaline water and it has all these benefits. Uh, just to give you a little history on that. They were seeing health benefits from the Kangen a long time ago in Japan, and they were saying it was because of the alkaline water. If it was just alkaline water, guys, you could literally just take tap water and put baking soda in it, and boom, you got alkaline water. Clearly, that's not the answer, but that's what they thought, and, they were, and it was because they were able to measure certain results. So they were able to see positive results, but that was in the short term, not the long term research. I'll go into that in a second. So basically, the reason is, they discovered late, later it wasn't because of the alkalinity. These machines were accidentally making some hydrogen. Ultimately, they discovered that that was the whole reason that you were getting the benefit. The problem is, is that it's not making it right because it's altering the pH of the water. If you make it alkaline through ionization, what was discovered in long-term research is that it disrupts the GI. This is a problem. It's in fact a really big problem because your stomach is designed to be acidic, whether it's for breaking down the food so that you get proper absorption of the nutrients to kill certain pathogens. And the problem is scientific fact that as we age, we actually make less and less stomach acids. So they were noticing that this was disrupting that and long-term usage was actually causing more issues. And it appears, I'll go into it later too, that after time, these are not really making much hydrogen or maybe even no hydrogen at all. This is different. I mean, this is the latest technology. People don't realize that the Kangans are really old. They're way behind on hydrogen. And I'll explain that in a second. This is the latest in hydrogen technology. This is specifically made to make pure hydrogen, fully saturated in the water. And hydrogen is actually pH neutral. So when you make it correctly, the, basically the pH of the water won't change. That's why this is not doing it right, in my opinion. And, this, and I'm going off just the, the latest scientific data that, that is now medically approved. And this is the correct way to do it. This just stayed popular, in my opinion, because it's a pyramid scheme thing and they just remained very popular. And, and yeah, I get it. People got really excited about it, but it's really not the right way to go. So again, this makes the pH neutral, fully saturated hydrogen water. Now, this one, this next point is not that important, but it's the price. I mean, these are extremely expensive. In my opinion, it's because, not because the machine is of high quality per se, because I don't think it's worth no $6,000, but... The reason is because it's a pyramid thing and I think everybody has to get their huge commissions and that's just the way it has to be. Um, but whatever, that's just my opinion on that. The price on this is not only way cheaper, but 
The, diff the big difference is that this not only makes fully saturated hydrogen water, but this actually also offers hydrogen gas inhalation. The Kangen definitely does not offer that. And the Kangen can't make fully saturated hydrogen water without altering the pH. Well, again, because it's not doing it correctly. The Kangen is not lab tested and certified. Almost no hydrogen machine on the market actually is. The Hydrofix is. This thing is actually lab tested, certified. It comes with a certificate. It tells you what lab it was tested in, down to the serial number, the amount of hydrogen it was making. It's really intense. The reason nobody does this is because it's tedious, it's a lot of work, it's expensive, but these guys are top notch. I mean, this is actually the, the machine that is used now in medical centers in Japan. I know a lot of people think the Kangen is. I'll get into that in a second. But first, let's get into the maintenance of these devices. The Kangen machine is expensive to maintain. It really is kind of a pain in the rear. And it's really, really just, it's difficult. And, and I think a lot of people really dislike it. And it's just expensive. I mean, I know a lot of people, even in Japan, they just said no more. They don't want to use it anymore. And that's actually something that's very common. The Hydrofix, they specifically designed it so that you can maintain it yourself. It's actually quite easy, very cheap. Once you get the machine, it's so cheap to make hydrogen water for many years and extremely reliable. The Kingdom is actually quite reliable also. So this that issue, they're both very reliable. So that part is um, kind of a tie there. The other thing I didn't like about the Kingdom is that you have to hook it up directly to your water source. So basically, you know, to your tap. And I definitely didn't like that because that's, they're definitely, all the filters that they're using are definitely not going to filter out everything. I mean, it's just a carbon filter, nothing particularly fancy. I carbon distill my water because I've seen the third part lab testing. I've done videos on it. It's the cleanest water you can get basically. And with the Hydrofix, you can put any water you want. This thing is not hooked up to your tap water. So you can literally put whatever water you want, which personally I prefer. That way you can uh, you know, get everything out of the water. And if you're doing this for health, then I would totally go with this. If you're doing it because you want to wash, for example, pesticides off the water, well, the Kingen is actually good at that. It could, this thing can actually wash pesticides off water. I mean, I don't know if I'd want to pay $6,000 for something that can do that. But yes, it can do that. And this definitely does not. This is like a one or two trick pony. This thing is specifically designed to make therapeutic hydrogen water and therapeutic hydrogen gas. That's literally all it does. It doesn't make all these different pH waters. It doesn't make the acidic water, anything like that. Um, in long-term research, again, they were finding that this was disrupting the GI. The pure hydrogen is actually super good for the GI. So they're very different in that aspect. The things I've seen that this does for people with like celiac disease and people with Crohn's disease and all these different gut issues, unbelievable what I've seen. It, it's so hard to believe, but just go look at the scientific data. We already have science and know that this thing is absolutely incredible for good gut health. And it's helped me a ton, especially with like my autoimmune issue I used to have because what it the autoimmune issues are typically related to the gut so in my opinion right so let's go to the next one anything that makes hydrogen water fast in my opinion is basically not doing it correctly this obviously will spew out the water immediately it's just ionizing the water that is not the right way to go in my opinion because to do it right takes time i mean this thing takes 30 minutes it's super easy to use and then you just hit the button once it takes literally 30 minutes to fully saturate how do i know that well, because again, it was lab tested. They measured everything. Everything's pre-measured and specifically designed to do this one thing. That's all it does. Again, it's like a one or two trick pony specifically designed just to make the best hydrogen water there is based on all the latest scientific data. Again, the Kingen is basically really old technology, but let's just go ahead and go to the, to the next part. Super nano bubbles. The nano bubbles that this makes is not even close to the Hydrofix. The Hydrofix is literally making the best nano bubbles there is in the industry and that has to do because of the patented metal technology that they're using. Not to mention it's doing something that no hydrogen device can do, which is the latest technology in the 2022. It's literally structuring the hydrogen. I've never seen anything like it. I didn't even think about doing such a thing and I have definitely noticed the differences. So, I mean, that's this is literally next level when it comes to the best hydrogen water and structured hydrogen. Um, and obviously the nano bubbles, uh, the nano bubbles from the King are just really, they don't really hold a candle compared to this. I mean, again, that's literally just the facts here in my opinion. Okay. Um, so obviously again, you can't use super clean water in these, like you can't use carbon distilled water in one of these things to really, because you have to hook it up to the tap and it's just, it's just not going to work. Probably one of the biggest things that's misunderstood is that this is not the latest technology, guys. In fact, in Japan, so many people have just basically, they're done with the Kangen. In America, it's still going on. I think it's just because it's one of these pyramid companies and people don't actually know. 
I mean, this thing was never designed to even be a hydrogen machine, but these days everybody's like, oh, it's a hydrogen machine. Why? Because they discovered the magic of hydrogen and now they just want to call their device a hydrogen machine, but that was never what it was designed to do, which is why you can't really make it properly. It was just, it was never designed to do that. And somehow these are not even popular anymore in Japan. I know a lot of people think they're used medically and stuff. I think there's a huge misunderstandings in regards to that, but these machines just are continuing to be popular in America, but in Japan, they're not. So, and, and a lot of people really don't understand apparently what's going on in Japan. And people say things and they, they just really don't know. Um, I do a lot of research and have a lot of connections over there. So I actually can find the actual latest data. So again, this thing was actually, like I said, was never intended, never engineered nor built to be a true hydrogen like device. That's never what this was. It's a water ionizer making all these different pH of type of water. It's actually very old technology. I would say it's well over 20 years old. And this is obviously the latest, basically based on, you know, not only the latest information and the latest technology. Okay, the other thing about the Kingen is that it's a closed system. So you can't see anything. See here, clearly you can see everything. You can't see anything in here. That's another problem. I mean, because you can't get in there, you can't clean the plates. With time, you're not gonna be making as much hydrogen. You're gonna have no idea if it's really making the hydrogen that it should be making or not which is clearly a problem. You can't really test it. People try to use blue drops to test these. That is the wrong way to test it. Another huge way of showing that people don't understand how to do hydrogen correctly, because blue drops are completely misleading, completely wrong results. You can see some other videos where I've literally shown the proper equipment that measures hydrogen, and then we do the blue drops next to it, and you can see how off they are and how it's not an accurate way. Literally anybody saying that you're using blue drops to measure hydrogen correctly, I hate to say it, doesn't actually know what they're talking about. And that's a problem. Too much misinformation in the world of hydrogen. This is why I'm trying to clarify, clarify it for you guys because I've spent well over a decade of extensive research to figure it all out, literally just for myself. I did it so that I could improve my health. I was very sick and I did that and I'm just sharing the knowledge with you guys because it's gonna save you a whole lot of time. Okay, so closed system, obviously require, you have to like ship this thing somewhere, get it maintained. It's a pain in the butt. I really don't like doing it and it's expensive. Not to mention the filters for it. So the water filters for it are also expensive and they're not really the best way to filter water. Sorry, it just isn't. The cleanest water based on actual lab testing is gonna be a carbon distiller. Sorry, that's just the way that it is. I mean, if you wanna know which one I use, go to mypurewater.com. If you want a discount, you're welcome to use my discount code, which is uprising144k. But that's just what I use. You can find a lot of other distillers out there. It's just that those are American made, super high quality, last a crazy long time. That's why I personally use those. Okay, I know a lot of people think that these are in hospitals. Huge uh, misunderstanding these days. They were using this as a disinfectant water. So that is something that these do that are quite good. The Hydrofix does not make disinfectant water. So that kind of sucks, but it doesn't do it. Yeah, I mean, it's cheaper, but it doesn't matter. The point is it doesn't do it and the Kingen does do it. So hey, Kingen actually uh, does something better than this machine for sure. It makes that disinfecting water and you can wash pesticides, you know, off of some of these fruits and vegetables. They, I, I know that they were using these for cleaning. I think they might have also used them for some skin conditions um, when you put them topically. But again, you know, that, that's, that's about it. I know that hydrogen has been amazing for skin conditions uh, when you literally just drink the water and inhale it. You didn't have to put it on topically. Um, you do it from the inside. And I have some pictures actually, before and after pictures of using this type of hydrogen for skin conditions, but I will have to make a separate video on that. I guess you guys comment below if you wanna see those pictures, I guess. Um, and this, and the levels of H2, this is, you know, something I spoke about a little bit before. You really don't know what kind of levels you're getting with the Kangen machine. Well, it's not lab tested and certified, but again, those plates that you can't clean, this is literally designed to be able to clean and, and you can see also what's going on. You can actually look at the metal plates and see how clean they are. I mean, I like to clean them, I don't know, every two to three months, but I'm using extremely clean water. Uh, people who don't use extremely clean water, I've literally seen their machines get all gunked up literally within a week or two. So it, it depends the source water, which would be a huge problem for a Kangen because if you're directly hooked up to the water and it could literally just be gunking up your plates and you could virtually be making no hydrogen just within weeks and you'd never know it. Um, because it will still alter the pH even if you're not really getting the proper amounts of hydrogen in there. So I hope this answered everybody's questions. Don't forget to support the channel, share, subscribe, you know, give the video a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. And I hope this answered everybody's questions for everybody who's been asking me for a review on these both products. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time on the next one.